Hey, this is Kevin Kitchens with Once Upon a Game, and today I'm going to take a look inside of Stalin's Triumph, part of the Nations of War series, uh, second edition. Uh, this is a recent reprinting from Lock and Load Tactical, and what they've done is they've taken the original game and the expansions and put them all together into a single package so you don't have to be spread out all over the place getting stuff from different, different, uh, different modules and things. So. Um, smaller box game which is fine because it doesn't really usually not very counter dense and um, its complexity is five solo playability is a seven out of ten so I'm gonna pop up the lid and see what you get inside and this is this is a system that is uh, uh, you don't need charts you all the uh, combat so on and so forth is uh, determined uh, by the stats on the uh, on the counters. So if something has a you know, attack strength of five, that would mean that they uh, attack with five dice, and they um, you know they may hit with a four, they may hit with a five, they may hit with a six, something like that. So pretty cool system. You don't have to do much of looking up. All right, there we go. We get. Get a little baggie of two dice, which is probably not going to be enough. If something's attacking with five dice, you're going to need a lot more than two dice. So, probably should have included more dice, maybe. But, all right, you're going to get a module rules and scenario book. So, the way these used to be is they would come with Stalin's Tramp rule book. So, now they've taken this kind of in the lock and load tactical vein, and you have the nations at war manual and then you're going to have the modules and scenarios manual so this is the same manual that comes in the other games in the series and then this is going to be the specific all right so it's full color glossy paper all right just like other games order of battle heavy order of battle one thing i love about this series is it works on a chip pull system so your different um, regiments or different uh, formations, I should say, uh, are gonna have chits that go into a cup and then you draw, and, and then you're gonna have endurn chits that come out. And so sometimes the unit may not activate. So it's a lot of, very fun to solo because uh, you, you don't really save up anything. You just kind of play it out. Cause you go, uh, I'm activating this formation. What am I gonna do? Who was the best thing on the board to do right now? Because there's no guarantee that the, the the one on the other side is that you're really wanting to pull off something cool is actually going to get to take a turn. So keeps you honest. So chip pull is like one of the greatest mechanics ever. Sorry, a little editorializing there. We're just supposed to look at the contents. All right. So this game has a tutorial, and then we got. Where's the tutorial? Well, it doesn't matter. We'll count the tutorial. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 15 scenarios. And then you got a campaign that has three scenarios. Death Ride of Dothreich. All right. So you can design your own scenarios if you want, which is really, really cool. And good to go. Now these do take place in World War II. Um, so there's the time period you're looking at. Obviously, with Stalin's triumph, it could have been Cold War. All right, so you get the core. So, sorry, real quick. This is uh, about 50 pages. Looks like 48. Yeah, five fingers. 48, 50, 50 pages. And then the core manual, again, I said it comes in every game. It's very short, it's very large print, right? Um, 35 pages, right? Now, if you played uh, the Nations of War series before, um, there's some map changes. This is included in the core rule book, but there are no map changes that affect Stalin's Triumph just for Desert Heat and White Star Rising. Which I did an unboxing of that one, so if you want to go watch that. 
All right, it looks like you get five counter sheets. Most of the game is counter sheets. All right, so the most of the counter sheets are all, I mean, most of the counters are all gonna be um, uh, three quarter inch. I believe that's right. Let's check. These are three quarter inch. Yes. My visual math is correct. And like all the recent lock and load uh, printings, very easy to punch out. They just kind of want to fall out. They are laid out in the sprue uh, by formation for the most part, usually just going across. Sometimes you may get a little cluster, so you can sort them as you, as you punch them. They punch very easily. They're pre-rounded and they're very smooth. So you can just punch them and sort them. You're good to go. Okay, put those back in there. So you have five sets of counters. All right, these full color ones right here, these are gonna be your, your uh, chip pull markers. And then there are a few formations that will have two of those. I don't know about this game in particular, but in general. All right, and then just various counters, uh, some leaders, uh, heroes that can influence battles, and then a bunch of markers. All right. uh, if I'm recalling, no, I'm not gonna even try to recall correctly. I know there's something about the white guys, the white hands here on these units. Okay, so here's your turn markers, fate markers, or, uh, keep track of uh, fate points that the uh, each side has that they can use. I think, oh, here I am speaking out of turn again. I'll look it up, never mind. Uh, I believe the fate markers are, are for that, that you have fate points that you can use to uh, undo certain situations. Um, those might actually be, well, we're gonna look it up. You know what, I'm just going to take that out. Alright, so the counters punch very cleanly, very quickly. Unless they just want to fall right out. So you get five sheets of counters. They're very nice counters. Okay. Alright, you get map sheets. These are uh, eight and a half by 11 full size. Uh, Eight and a half by eleven, and then double sized, I should say, and uh, fold out. There's geomorphic, so you can put them together. All right? They are single sided for the most part. Okay. The one thing they did do is any, uh, I believe, that any terrain pieces that may have needed to go on them before. There were small little card cardstock terrain pieces. Those are now just on the maps. So you don't have to fold those anymore. Map 7, map 8, map 5. There's a lot of open, just open terrain. This should be map 6. Okay. So you have four maps. Nice big, nice big maps. Okay. You're going to get a chaos table which is like random events that can happen in the game a little summary sheet just help you as a ready reference to your phase summary uh, different rules sections oh but wait we have more maps so you have four and now we've got five and six This is map nine. The hill, the mountain, river. Map ten. Also, all these are single sided. Still, there's a lot of open area. We have a lot of long fire. Okay. So you got six maps, and we've got the. Unit points cost sheet for the German forces. So I guess if you're building up a, a, a force for a make your own battle, this is what they this is what they cost. So 
say for the Americans. Oh, so, excuse me, the Soviet forces. Sorry. Eastern Front. Then you got a player aid. Gives you a very large print chart of the NATO symbols. And you turn track. But that can help when they tell you, it's, you know, only infantry can do something or, uh, you know, only uh, motorized infantry. So it's good to have those. Uh, NATO symbols in indicate a soft target and then hard targets have a tank, have an image of the, the item or the, uh, the vehicle. And I've got a blank piece here. Is it something upside down or is it shirt cardboard? It is a real chart. Is your train effects chart. This is very important. Okay. Stalin's Triumph is one of the Nations at War series, second edition. And this is what you get in the box. All these are nice coated cardstock. So you get a train effects chart. You get a turn track player aid. Uh, two unit point cost sheets, one for each side. Six maps. Put those over here in order. Six, uh, you know, large size, uh, 11 by 17 maps. A rule summary sheet, a random events table. Five sheets of counters and markers, all three quarter inch, easy to store. A core manual 2.0 for the Nations at War system and the modules and scenarios for the Stalin's Triumph game. And two dice, probably not enough. And that is what you're going to get in the box. Stalin's Triumph from Lock and Load Publishing. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you. Bye bye. Oh!